hi, I'm going to try to have a little bit more charisma in how I speak right now because I'm doing this little series where I'm going through these hard times and I'm trying to overcome my hardship and hopefully inspire you to feel like you're not alone in your difficult times and also feel like you can take some sort of accountability to feel better because we might not choose pain but we can participate in our own suffering and right now I'm choosing this mantra that is I will no longer participate in my own suffering so I'm going to overcome what I'm going through and hopefully the little insights I give you is some gems that you can apply in your life what is something that I know right now that I've discovered that I've overcome about my situation that can give you some value what is something that I wish I knew myself because whoever you are right now I'm talking to you like you are me I'm talking to you like we understand each other and we've been through similar pains I'm not here to talk to you if you have clinical depression because that is not what I'm going through and I'm not a psychiatrist I don't know how to treat that I'm here to talk to you if you are someone like me that generally has an okay life a pretty good life but has moments like right now where things just feel so fucking dark and sometimes that freaks me out because I almost feel like I'm crazy I almost feel like I get a glimpse of what it's like to be actually insane I think about alcoholism not that those people are crazy listen to this analogy I'm getting to something I have someone very close to me that is an alcoholic and the way that they explain their disease is it's like a cucumber that got pickled and once you're a pickle you can't unpickle yourself. That's how alcohol is. Once you're an alcoholic, you cannot reverse that. You will always be an alcoholic. And I hate using the word always because you should never use the word always, should, never. <laughs> that is so funny that I just said that right now. But you hear that often because there's always some caveat to what you're saying. But in terms of alcoholism, if you want to live a healthy life, you should always have the mindset that you're an alcoholic because you're a cucumber that just got pickled and you can't get unpickled. And then I think about the fact that sometimes I feel like when things are going hard for myself, I'm on the verge of losing it. I'm on the verge of going through so much negativity in my thoughts and my mind that I'm borderline losing myself and going crazy. And I'm afraid that if I get into that glimpse, if I tip over the edge, I will just unlock something and I won't be able to go back. I don't know if that makes sense, but it can be so scary when you are in these episodes because you can't really see how you're gonna get out of it. You can't really see the future that much. You don't really have hope. And right now I do tell myself that things are gonna be okay, that time will heal, but <laughs> Time feels so damn slow right now and I'm not seeing improvements. Actually, I am. I'm lying to myself. I have seen small improvements because I am filming right now. A couple days ago, I would not have been able to film. So I need to realize like, am I sabotaging myself when I say things? Am I being real? Because that is something I discovered. And first of all, I'm so sorry if this video is all over the place because I am not planning any of this. But when I was doing a little bit of internal work the other day, journaling and thinking about myself and trying to understand myself and what my toxic behaviors are, is I realize that I take things to the extreme and I always think the worst. If one things go bad, I extrapolate and make things 10 times worse than they are. I don't know why the fuck I do that. I can't deal with failure maybe, or I can't deal with the fact that I'm not perfect, that it's almost like I want to create something that is bad, just so much worse, so it makes it feel worth it. It's almost like this concept that I heard sometime, and this is gonna be very vague because I don't really remember that much of it. People would much rather be famous for something they did bad than not famous at all and forgotten. There's something about this Greek bad boy <laughs> back in the days that did an incredible crime just to be remembered because they would rather be remembered for something than forgotten for being a nobody. And that to me is just, some sort of extreme thinking and I can sense myself doing something like that for myself it's like because I'm slightly failing in some aspects of my life I almost want to be a complete failure because at least it feels better to go all in and be associated with something so grandiose than something so mediocre and average and normal I don't know where that comes from but I'm starting to realize that I am my own enemy and even though I know I have some haters online 
those people don't actually go to bed thinking and hating of me. Everyone's thinking about their own life. Everyone is their own enemy. If there's anything I want you to get out of what I'm telling you right now is that it is so important that you get to know yourself. You get to know your patterns, your toxic behaviors, how you sabotage. You are your own enemy, but you're also your own best friend. And you can actually give love and support to yourself if you teach yourself how to do that. But if you don't take accountability for that, you will easily go down the rabbit hole. And something that I've realized about myself, when I don't understand something that's happening in my life, I easily tend to sabotage myself towards certain behaviors. Self-medicating, watching TV, aka I don't even watch TV because I don't have a streaming service, but I will go through the TV apps and just click through that and not even actually watch something. I will literally watch previews of things without actually watching a movie because I don't actually want to watch TV. I just want to distract myself. It's really weird. I isolate myself from people. I will not respond to texts or if people ask me how I'm doing, I will completely lie and overly say how good I am. So just knowing how I sabotage myself is very helpful because now when I catch myself doing those things by habit, I realize it's time to do something different because I'm trying to grow and evolve and heal. So now that I have the awareness that I do that, I can start doing things differently because if you do want to change, it actually requires you to do things differently. So you have to have that pause, that moment where you actually feel empowered to do something different. Because I've mentioned failure, let's just dive a little bit deeper into that. When I started journaling, I just kind of went through my... Look, actually, I'm going to show you. So this is like one of my journals. So I started doing this thing where you kind of, you know, survoli. I don't even know the English word for that. But I was like looking through the pages just to see what I've been through in the past months and see if I see something interesting. And this is something that I stumbled upon in one of the pages. How to deal with failure. What often feels as rejection is often redirection. So I started looking at my life, um, something personal in my career as a pro athlete that feels like failure. It doesn't have to be something that I extrapolate, that I make so much worse and then create a self-fulfilling prophecy for the downfall of my career. I can actually look at it as a sense of redirection, of adjustment, of growth. And something that I came to the conclusion of is that, holy shit, I have put so much value, so much self-worth about me dependent on my career. My self-worth is way too attached to the accomplishments. I've realized that. So once you realize things like that, although I do want to have pity for myself and realize how fucked up I am and how much work I'm going to have to go through to overcome that, I'm just like, stop thinking about that and just try to navigate and work through this. What is the reason why I'm like that? I haven't quite figured that out yet. <laughs> I don't know why I'm like that, but what am I going to do about it? I've heard this concept that you don't actually accomplish anything, okay? That is non-existent. You can uh, plant a seed, you can water a plant, you can give it the soil that it needs, but you cannot actually make the plant grow. That is not something that you are accomplishing. That is some outward force that is the biggest fourth force on earth or god if you may same thing as you can be a doctor and help a patient after a car accident and do surgery and give them medicine but you cannot actually save a life same thing about love you can nurture a relationship you can be your best self you can do whatever you feel like is being a perfect partner, but you cannot actually make someone fall in love with you. I don't know if you understand what I'm getting at. You are not the accomplishment in self. You are not actually in control of the accomplishment of the thing. All you are in control of is the action that creates the environment for the accomplishment. What should give me some sort of self-worth and self-love is basically the actions that I can control. It's what I do. It's not the actual result. 
because that is something that is not really in control. Kind of like my YouTube channel. I'm in control of what I post out there. I'm in control of the quality of my content or actually filming, but I'm not in control of who watches my videos, who interacts, who comments, who likes, if this video is successful or not. That is not in my control. So I cannot base my self-worth based off the result of this video. I need to be proud of myself for actually even putting myself out there. So if you get anything out of what I'm telling you right now is to detach yourself from your accomplishments and focus on your character on the values that you live by it's your day-to-day -day. it's not the end result it's actually the journey that you're on because nothing is worth it at the end if you are miserable along the way that's your life right now it's your daily habits and it's cool because right now i'm talking to you but i really feel like i'm just talking to myself i'm revisiting some insights that i realized and i hope that you're following along and understand where i'm coming from and I can already feel like I'm a bit more pep in my talk just from talking to you about this because it does inspire me to realize, okay, things will actually be okay. So thank you for watching. I hope you got something out of this and I will see you very soon in a new video. I love you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching, honestly. I appreciate it. See you soon.